so I felt Dakota was a, a guy tonight who, who really just took the mound and, and took control of the ball game. We were really proud of what he did. I, the end, you start getting a little nervous about him being at a, 120 pitches because we're going to need him down the stretch and, and you know in postseason. But uh, boy, he really wanted it. You know, he's touching 94, 96 at the end, so we didn't feel like he was he'd lost anything. And, you know, that last kid who was at the plate, if he gets on, we got to get him out of the ball and we just can't let him throw anymore. But uh, I think it says a lot about his character and his conditioning and his toughness and how far he's come that you know, his stuff is still electric, 100, 120, 115 pitches into a ball game. I've heard it said before that there's a difference in pitches in tight games and then, you know, you got a seven-run lead. There's 120 pitches on a night like tonight a little different. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little different, and, I, and quite frankly, it's a little more dif difficult when you have long offensive innings. You, you don't get to a rhythm coming in and out, in and out, in and out. He's got to sit there at times for 10, 15 minutes. You know, I'm sure the bottom of the third, that inning probably lasted, you know, it's probably a long offensive inning. He's got to keep his arm working and, and stay busy. And Wes has done such a great job with our guys on the bench, just keeping them engaged and keeping their arm working. So, uh, yeah, um, I thought he did a great job managing that. You talked about the Bears trophy earlier in the week. And you look at what Hudson and Mangum did tonight, they couldn't make it easy for the scouts. What do you think that dynamic is between them? Yeah, I, you know what? I don't even know who I'm going to vote for at this point in time because there's, good, you know, good candidates. But um, I tell you, I, I, man, what Mangum does is pretty remarkable because he just his whole thing is he doesn't hit average fly balls and he doesn't swing and miss. And, and when you do those two things and you can really run and you're always pressuring the defense, you know, good things are going to happen for you tonight. I, I thought a huge, you know, Pressure play in the ball game tonight was Robbie hits ball in the six hole. We end up scoring a run there because he pressures the defense. And you know when Robbie's going good, he's doing the same thing. He's not swinging or missing. He's hitting line drives and ground balls. And uh, you know that's that's what he's done. It's pretty remarkable. I mean I, that last ball he hit. I, I'm watching the replay on the board and I'm saying that ball couldn't have been four or five inches off the ground when he hit it and he turned it into a line drive in the middle of the field. So. Yeah, you know, he, he just had a great, great uh, night. But you know, the night's over. And we got to turn around, and we got to have some, some great ABs tomorrow as well. It's hard for anybody to, to hit over 400. There's only two guys in the conference doing it. But for a freshman, I, have you seen a freshman do what he's doing and, and the approach that he has at the plate? You know, I, many years ago, you, you've seen it. But the league, to me, is so much better because you're facing so many different looks and so much more velocity and so much more spin on breaking balls. So I, I think what's happening, and, and quite frankly, the bats right now aren't the same bats that were used 10, 15, 20 years ago. So he's doing a little more difficult bat against better arms. I, I think it's pretty remarkable what he's doing as a freshman. And you know what he's doing is he's just keeping it very simple. And when freshmen can, can keep things really simple, they can be successful. It's when they try and take on too much. And uh, I, I think he's been able to do that. How quick was it after the game before you went and checked some scores to, to see where, where you guys stand? You know what? The, the, when I'm going to check scores is on Saturday. But, uh, you know, for now, we got to take care of our own business. And our, I thought our kids just did a great job on the bench tonight. I just didn't hear anybody talking about any of that. I didn't see anybody running back to check their phones or anything like that. I, I just think they wanted to win this baseball game, do whatever they could to win this game. And whatever happens, happens. But our, our kids are going to compete their tails off. And, you know, we can only control what we can control.